Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing Poison Ivy. And first of all, let me start off by saying yes, my hair is not red. I got a can of like spray, like hair color from the dollar store and it turned into this. Like I sprayed on my hair and then it turned to pink. Like it, right away it was pink and now it's turning purple. It's basically every color that I want except for red. So uh, maybe it would have been better if I hadn't put it at all, but then I was like, I already did it. Like, I did like everything and then I did the hair and I was like, oh my God, like, I think um, as a tip, if you are thinking of putting spray hair color in your hair, use like a back strand and just like test it out to see what that looks like before putting it on like the front of your head because maybe it is not the color you want. That's just my <laughs> little tip for you guys. So. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know whenever I post a new video. And let's go ahead and get started on how I created this look. So I started out by using some leaves that I got from the dollar store. I just cut those up and then tried to place them on my face to see where exactly I would want them to stick. And then I used this Ben Nye liquid latex to stick them to my face. So you just go ahead and apply the liquid latex onto the stem and then also on your skin to make sure that it sticks and I applied it quite liberally just because I wanted to make sure that it would stay so what I did is I would apply it on my face and then I would just hold the leaf in place just to make sure that it stayed I'm making sure to go behind and also um, just underneath to make sure you get every part of this branch or leaf or whatever you use you just want to make sure that it sticks to your face and then I dragged a little bit onto my cheek just to make sure that the stem part didn't stick out. I wanted it to look a bit more flat. Um, I think if I had to do this over again, I would continue that part a bit more. I would probably drag it out a bit more into my face just to make it look a bit more um, smooth. And then I went ahead and added the second part. So I just repeated what I did. Um, I just laid down some liquid latex and then uh, put some more on top of that with the stem and then just kept adding um, some more. And then I would put some liquid latex and then just hold the um, plastic plant in place just for it to stick. And then after that, I went ahead and used some um, cotton pads, cotton rounds, whatever you wanna call them, and just uh, tore them apart like this. So you just get like fine um, bits of the cotton. So I went ahead and reapplied some liquid latex on top. And then after that, you want to place the cotton on top of it while it's still wet. So you go ahead and place the cotton on top of the liquid latex. Um, this just helps add some texture and just makes it look a bit more skin-like. So after you put the cotton, you want to pat it down to make it go into, like kind of melt into the liquid latex. So once all the cotton is laid down, you're actually going to go ahead and put more liquid latex on top of that. And then once that part was done, I went ahead with the makeup part. So I used a red lip liner and used that to fill in my brows. I went into this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, I believe. It's just like a white base. So I went ahead and applied that all over my eyes and blended that out to make sure that the green color really popped. I used this um, Chanel eyeshadow quad called Tissé Vendôme. It was like the only eyeshadow quad that I had that was green, so I tried to use it, but it came out green, but not exactly the green that I wanted. Like I really wanted like a pop, like a vibrant popping green. So I applied some eyeshadow at first. It didn't really get the color that I wanted, so I went into my MAC um, waterproof gel liner here in the color Landscape Green, and this definitely gave more of that popping, vibrant green color that I wanted. So after that was done, I used eyeliner, mascara, and then I went ahead and did my foundation, concealer, etc, etc. And then I put my foundation over top of the liquid latex area just to make it look like skin. I really wanted this to look like the flower was just like coming out of my skin naturally. So I did put foundation over top of it, but it didn't really come out exactly like I wanted. Like, in person, you could definitely tell that these were two different colors, but if you guys have any tips on how to make your liquid latex look more like your skin tone, let me know. And then I finished off the look with a red lip. So I went ahead and filled in my lips with the same lip liner that I used to fill in my brows. 
And then after that, I covered my lips in a sticky lip gloss and, could, and I was quite liberal in applying it because after that, I went ahead and used this MAC pigment glitter in the color red. And I just applied that all over my lips. All right, guys, that's it. This is my finished look. Yes, uh, my hair is not red. I got a really cheap can of uh, hair spray paint from the dollar store and it's at first it was pink and now it's turning purple maybe it'll get red at some point i don't know i feel like oh sorry it's like my hair is sticking into my gloss my hair is so dark that maybe it just wouldn't pick up i don't know so i don't know it's kind of cool having purple hair it looks more purple in this light in the bathroom look really pink um but either way it's not red which is too bad i was hoping it would be like this kind of red like a really flashy bright red but it it's not really doing that with my hair. Maybe if I had blonde hair to work. So go look in my description box. I put a link to the video that I watched to get an inspiration for how to do this look because it's kind of complicated, especially like the leafy part. Uh, I also put um, the link to Nikki's video for a collaboration. Go check that out. Um, so this leafy part turned out pretty cool. I think it looks really cool. Obviously some people have a lot more skills with special effects makeup and theirs looks like actual skin. I mean, I had a hard time. I think if I had like taken the cotton and kind of dragged it out more into my skin, maybe it would have like kind of blended more. But I feel like this looks pretty cool. This is like my first time trying this. I think it's a pretty cool look. The liquid latex at a beauty supply store, the leaves I got from the dollar store, the cotton pads also from the dollar store, so it's like a pretty cool thing to do. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.